Okay, so I got a question about not uh, finding out that you're a light breather uh, and that you yeah that you're not breathing much. You know that that you know I think uh, I come from an addiction background, and people who are addicts are often very very stressed and are going at 100 miles an hour. So it can be when the body is stressed, uh, then uh, that goes hand in hand that there's going to be very light breathing at the same time. So it's part of the fight and flight response. So the, uh, the body is trying to um, have all the blood go to, for the emergency, the emergency uh, functions of the body and sort of cuts off things. So lightheaded, you can sort of, you know, the muscles fight and flight, so you have light breathing. So <clears throat> people who are in active addiction are often in highly adrenalized, highly stressed uh, states all the time. And they're using constantly. You know, I got kidney failure. So when you're in these highly, when you're using all the time, it's like all your acupuncture meridians are blocked off. Uh, so your energy lines are not supporting. You'll find, uh, <clears throat> I got kidney failure. In Chinese medicine, you know, uh, that's associated, the kidney meridian is associated with the energy of fear. So when you're in fear, you block off the energy to the uh, Kidney, kidney meridian, you also have certain emotions when you're in, a, in, in these very negative states which will cut off the energy to your lungs and so you'll be in these, um, <clears throat> you know, breathless states. So as you start to do the forgiveness, as you start to feel the feelings of going to the witness, so all, your, all the meridians will start to open up <clears throat> and all the, you know, the kidneys will start functioning, you know, the, you'll start to calm down, the lungs will start to breathe. So all of that automatically happens. Now, if you just suddenly realize, you know, as you start to do spiritual work, that you haven't sort of been breathing your whole life hardly, you've been having this shallow, shallow breath and lightheadedness, uh, it can come as a bit of a shock. And you'll, you'll, you'll start to get all these ideas like, oh my God, I'm not breathing. And, and there's, there's no problem in, you know, uh, just learning to breathe properly. Yeah. And in terms of how does that relate to feel the feelings? Well, it doesn't, it doesn't relate to feel the feelings. Feeling the feelings is not teaching you a breathing exercise. Because feeling feelings is, um, is allowing all the repressed and suppressed feelings to come out. And remember, um, I would say that you, if you want to like, practice breathing exercises at a, di at a different time, that's okay. I mean, the, the conflict with doing trying to consciously breathe while you're doing the feel feelings is that you'll be activating your ego to try and, to try and organize your breathing. Whereas in feel the feelings, what we're doing is we're switching off, identifying with thoughts, and just allowing all the layers of repressed feelings to, and energies just to, to, be, to be allowed to come up and to be released. So it's not really an exercise. Now, okay, so let me explain that with feel the feelings, as you automatically, but you may not get instant results. You know, for people who've got a lot of negative emotions and feelings under the hatch, it may take a long time before, you know, things like your breathing starts to become uh, more slow uh, and all your body starts to heal up. So it took, it took me three to, you know, three to five years of doing Feel the Feelings, uh, Cancelling Release, Course in Miracles, uh, Dr. Hawkins' work, uh, The Observer, Self-Inquiry. Three to five years for my illnesses to start to vanish and miracles starting to happen mm -hmm. and all the breathing. So it takes a while to unwind. But if you really want to, if you're concerned, you can do like some breathing exercises, but feel the feelings is not, not a breathing exercise. So. Okay, let me ask you a question. Sure. So when I'm, when I'm this is just what I'm doing. I'm, no. I don't know if it's right or wrong. So when I'm feeling the feelings, most of my feelings, I feel like they're inside my stomach, yeah. like inside my soul. That's yeah. how it feels to me. Yeah. And what I've noticed is that when I just want to surrender myself to that feeling, I've found there is a brick there and I'm not breathing. So it's not so much about, so you know that I'm like, I can't let it come out because I'm not even breathing. So I like take a deep breath and I suddenly feeling it start dissipating. So it's not almost like focusing on my breathing, if that oh, makes sense. It's almost like I'm not letting it out if okay. I'm not breathing properly. And that's what I caught myself doing. Like, I'm not even breathing to let it out. I think that's the Holy Spirit. I mean, I, I, can, I experience exactly the same thing um, you? that you're describing. And, and it's very, it, it feels very natural to take a yeah. really big breath 
And I think that's, you're finally <laughs> allowing yourself to breathe as we were supposed to breathe. And, you know, sometimes the Holy Spirit is coming through. Because you stop thinking when you do feeling the feelings, don't yeah. you? All your attention is going on your body and you're becoming non-conceptual. And it creates a space where mm. the breath can start to flow again. So I, although it's not a breathing exercise, I often find it almost becomes a breathing exercise because my breathing... But you're not focusing on your breathing, no, you're no, feeling yeah. your feelings, but that comes naturally, yeah. like a deep intake. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that is a really good explanation. So, feeling the feelings is not an exercise to engage your ego, mm. to, to artificially tell your ego what to do. Mm. But if things spontaneously, intuitively happen, that's, that's how it should be on the feeling the feelings exercise. So, we're actually trying to uh, disidentify, not, not identify, not attach to your thoughts. So, and then whatever energies are there to be, to allow them, and then if and then at a certain point, intuitively, spontaneously, if breathing happens, then that's great. But it's not to not to mentally orchestrate it um, from your head. Yeah. So no. So I don't I don't believe I was doing that. Well, that that's yeah. just what's been explained, uh, yeah. which is like intuitively out of grace. Mm. The breathing has happened, and that's na naturally how I do the feel the feeling exercise. I personally do it like I trust. If I don't engage my head and identify with thoughts, the process will will naturally do everything it needs to do. Mm. It's not a, you know rather than need to artificially engage my ego while while doing the process to mm. speed up that really, the results. Thank you for explaining uh, that that way. So mm. yeah, just feel I feel upset by it. Mm. But do, uh, when you when you find yourself doing that big breath. Mm. Do you feel more relaxed or more peaceful? Yeah, yeah I feel like, like 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 something's opened up, lid is opened up inside of me, yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm able to start feeling the feelings yeah. and letting them come out. And my first exercise here about feeling the feelings, I felt like I had to keep my mouth open because it was all coming out. Sounds positive. Doesn't it's it? brilliant. Yeah, it's not yeah. very positive. Yeah. But yeah. what what upsets me is that yeah. I've put this through it for 40 yeah, years without yeah. knowing I wasn't even breathing or mm. feeling mm. and that it sounds like a lot of built up of a lot of mm. energy it's a lot of stuff yeah. yeah yeah that's what it feels like as yeah. well yeah and somehow mm. now you're kind of trying to it's get release it's, she's doing well really, really well it's coming out really nicely yeah and uh, grief is also uh, a great mm. feeling to feel you know years of being in the ego you know lots of different types of grief comes mm. up a life unlived mm. Or opportunities yeah. missed, uh, being yeah. stuck in a lower mm -hmm. level of consciousness. Yeah. So suddenly these recognitions and the tears mm -hmm. are really good. Mm -hmm. It's like I call it crying out your attachments, you know, yeah. and yeah. the missed opportunities, which is also... I always encourage, you know, I work with a lot of people in 12-step groups, I say, like, crying is good for you, you know, just let it, let it all come out, don't repress it. And if you feel like blubbing, just go ahead and cry, you know, it's a good thing. Is that what you call my beautiful tears? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that answers that question. Thank you, you both. And...